How are you, old goats? Well, I know we didn't do a very good job the other day because uh, you know, first time out here, first time with the metal detector. I'm trying to get used to how it works and uh, different functions on it. Um, so, of course, I decided to go ahead and get my uh, the extra earphones that I ordered out today. Uh oh. Oh, okay. There's an adapter just to uh, plug those into the metal detector because these ones do seem like they're gonna fit a heck of a lot better. The ones that came with the metal detector, they're uh, kinda cheap. Uh, the shovel that come with it is not for shoveling dirt. Uh, picking away stuff, yeah, it'll work for that, but uh, actually full scoop, bend, no, nah, shovel bent. But the detector itself still seems to be going, you know, doing its job, so. I didn't buy the detector for the shovel. I didn't buy the detector for the earphones. You know, if you want better quality earphones, well then just buy earphones. If you want better quality shovel, just buy a shovel, a better shovel. So the detector itself, that's what I bought. So as long as it works, that's what I'm happy about. Uh, anyway, we got our, uh, our pin pointer this week. So we're excited to come out here and try to check that out and play with that and try to find some of these elusive items that we just couldn't find. Uh, dig through, run the detector over it again, seem to have lost the signal, or the signal moved, <laughs> but it wasn't in the pile, it wasn't in the hole. So. We're gonna try to find some of those. Maybe we'll get a whole bunch more nails. And maybe we'll find our first piece of silver. Uh, we'll catch back up with you if you find anything good. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, we were digging a. What the detector said was a piece of scrap. Uh, we pulled our plug out, and this was sitting there. Uh, the, the wife said it is a nickel. Yep, it does say five cents. She is on the ball. And it's, I know we're not supposed to rub them, but we can't find the date, so. Besides, this is our own yard and we're not even worried. We're just we're just out here having fun right now. Let's see. God we trust. Liberty. Liberty 1974. Eight. Holy shit. What? Nope, that is 1974. You want to double check me on that? Sure. 1974. Okay, so it's basically worthless, right? Uh, nice little Liberty uh, nickel, 1974. Uh, dug up from what the detector said was scrap. So we're gonna check this hole again and see if there's any more scrap in it. Alrighty, same hole, guys. Uh, <laughs> we swept it again before we decided to fill her in. This one said it was a nail. Uh, looks like some sort of a I know that there was a uh, car parked right in here at one point for probably three or four years. So I'm going to guess this is a piece of that car that fell off. Uh, I mean, it's clearly metal. I just I can't see it well enough to determine what it is. But by gosh, we'll hit it again and see if we can find anything else. Alrighty guys, we got another reading for a nail. Dug it up a little bit. Uh, it's an iron rod with a little uh, marble-like thing on there. I don't know if it's what it is. Uh, looks to me like it's maybe part of a baby playpen. A baby I crib? I seem to remember baby crib. That could be more accurate. I seem to remember something like this as a kid. Uh, I thought these slid up and down though. But uh, it could just be that it's 
rusted so much that it's not going to slide anymore or it could have been permanently affixed to it i don't know it's a pretty cool find uh, we'll have to ask mom to see if she knows more about the history of this because this is likely something she would have seen with my uh, youngest aunt so cool okay guys we're gonna look at the hole that we got today um got a little can lid yeah not, not the greatest of course you know we already showed you the uh, piece of play pen I think uh, Mountain Dew bottle cap that's actually pretty cool uh, I actually remember glass bottles so uh, a rock a little piece of looks like maybe aluminum or tin a little nail a little piece of a plate so they're always cool to find uh, that chunk of metal where that car was parked years ago uh, it looks like a chunk of iron uh, not real sure I could be wrong it rang up on the metal detector not sure what it is piece to a car piece to a bike uh, this looks like maybe a kickstand for a motorcycle I'm gonna say grandpa had something similar to a Vespa so it could be part of that of course another nail and another piece of tin or aluminum The only coin we found was the uh, the, di the nickel. Uh, we got what four more nails to add to the pile. Uh, another piece of uh, tin or aluminum. Uh, some sort of a plastic cap. For... That's always cool. It's always cool. Um, a piece of plastic or porcelain. I'm not sure what that one is. A uh, little these little black rocks we found a bunch of those uh, they're smooth I don't know what they are maybe gravel to something a little piece of plastic that I thought may have been a coin at first but I realized it was pink and then this piece this is quite interesting this was a dug down there and we saw that rim we grabbed that camera and that was it that was all there was to it there was no coin it was just that rim so I don't know we'll have to check it to see what it is I mean, it's probably worthless in its current form so I can probably nope it snapped well there's what the inside looks like don't know I mean, we had silver hit in that area I don't know that that's gonna be it but we did check the area again after that so the only really thing we found of any kind of significance was that nickel and I believe that's worth the whole five cents that's a 1974 yeah 1974 so that's clad I believe so it's worth a nickel we found a whole nickel we spent maybe two hours out here today but we got all this junk out of the yard so Hopefully, hopefully anything that's buried in here, we're getting closer to finding, because once we get all this junk, well, I don't want to say junk, because some of it's actually kind of cool. But once we get all that out of the way, we might be able to find some coins. Uh, so, so far we found a uh, dollar and five cents. That's in two hunts. Bye.